Hey everybody, it's Jay the Haitian Mogul here. I am here with another video. Um, it's been a couple of days since I posted one, but I've been working on this brand new system um, that I've been putting together of a lot of automation. So be on the lookout for that. I'm actually going to have another video for that specifically so that way you guys can see how it all works and then see if you guys want to get it or whatever and then just go from there. Um, this video is going to be about uh, my the auto poster that I've been talking about in my videos I have a lot of people that I have already purchased to get under my account like I said it's only twenty dollars one time and I'm going to show you all because I, I wanted to um, I just set one of my accounts to be set on autopilot and I know I got a lot of people that ask me questions about you know how do you set this how do you make sure that your posts are sent out that type of stuff so I'm gonna go through um, then with this account, with my personal account, which is the Jessica Morales account, and I'm going to just pinpoint certain things so that way you guys can see how it works and how to work it. If you already have it, this is basically what you're going to be using to see how it actually works for you and how to make it work um, to do the job that you want to do. Now, of course, keep in mind that this is only a tool. Like this right here is only a tool to you to be used for your business. It's not going to guarantee you sales. It's never gonna guarantee sales, and it's, of course, you know you can get leads, but it's not gonna guarantee them either. So it's all about what you're putting out there, what the content is, what your picture is, if you have an image that you're putting there, what the link is, what a link looks like, and also what the link might be going to if you include the link in there. Me personally, I do not like to include the links unless it's for something that I'm giving away for free or something like that. Um, and then even then, I don't share it too often because Facebook kind of has a thing to where if you share the same link too often or too fast or whatever, that sooner or later, the link, you won't even be able to post it no more. Or you always have to take a break from posting that link. So instead, what I do is I just send the link when people send me a message. And that way, they can just go to the link and I specifically send it to somebody who actually asked for it versus just sharing it a bunch of groups. Hoping somebody's gonna click on it, which I've seen a lot, that's been done a lot to the point where you don't they don't even get any any interaction, any engagement on the post. You could get a couple of clicks here and there, um, but to me personally, I prefer to try to get the engagement, especially because it'll make the pay, the picture or the post come up more, and also it'll take I can actually go through and message these people individually, then come back and follow up with them if I if they haven't purchased anything. Does that make sense? So. You can do either or, but I'm telling you exactly how I do it and what I'm seeing as far as the best results go when it comes to being connected with people and especially people who are interested in your opportunity. So that way you can keep that connection with them because you never know. They might not, of course, it was like with MCA or any other business out there that involves paying anybody up front for anything as far as the service goes or the benefits or whatever it is you're, that, that you are selling. They want to make sure that you know they can actually get that 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 back so that way they know that it, it works so so you want to make sure that with this you can at least give them that that one-on-one -on -one connection and you can talk to them and then you can be like hey you know this is what it does and of course as always like I always say don't go off as you automatically just sell it you can automatically just say hey I got this blase blase this is what it does this is how it's gonna help you and then you can just give them the 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 top layer of it. That's what I like. I like to call it the top layer of it because it's giving them the best parts of the product. Now, of course, they're always gonna say, "Well, what's the catch?" Okay. And then I always be like, "Well, there is no catch, but there is. You have to pay such and such, right?" And then they'd be like, "Well, why do I gotta pay?" And you'd be like, "Well, shoot, you're paying for the benefits. You know, you're paying for the services. You know, you're paying for whatever it is that they are actually paying for." Which also would consist con constituted to be not a scam, you know, because scams are basically people who put pay, put money and stuff that don't get nothing in, nothing in return, okay. And the people who fail in MCA are those who just aren't consistent, are afraid of spending money, or just trying to get it done for free, trying to get it done by other people, and just not trying to, you know, it's just, it's just it, you have to really be completely delved into the business whatever business that it is because that's gonna that's gonna separate you from everybody else so let's go ahead and dive in I didn't plan on talking about that that long but it was really essential to what I'm doing so let's go ahead and dive into this so well, like I said now once you have already signed up with me under my my Facebook 
auto poster what you will do is you can come up here okay you um you automatically will see this page first now what I did just recently and I usually like to do my, my go to is either gonna be my links or my image my links or image post people ask me how to do the video the video I'm gonna tell you this right now okay if you do a video every time that it goes into a group is going to upload that video so I stay away from that part mainly because it kinda takes people away from what I actually do want them to see as far as like coming from because I don't mind it being directly uploaded to the group but only if it's a specific group that I want it to be uploaded into um, again where as far as me getting like interaction and likes on my fan page I prefer to use the link because that way I can put in my embedded link for my YouTube fan, my uh, um, for my fan page or YouTube even or whatever something that I want more interaction on where there's more subscribers, more likes, more hits, more views, just so that way it can all be connected and then that we can go back to my fan page. You see what I'm saying? So that way, no matter what is going on, no matter what I post, it all comes back to the fan page. So that way, that fan page is always getting interaction, always getting some type of, of feedback, always getting some type of likes. Whatever it is that's going on, it's always active. Okay? So, let me go ahead and with that being said, I am on my Jessica Morales auto poster account, but I am also in my J Nice Facebook account. So what we want to do, because my goal, my, my whole goal for this right now is to be able to share it, to share the post and all my available groups that are related to what I'm trying to, trying to share and trying to promote and also get people to, to click on the link because it's gonna be for this link it's gonna be that the, the video link the video that, that I've been sharing um, I'm still working on the other ones I have a whole bunch of other videos that I need she need I actually need to edit and put together and then that way I'm gonna start promoting them as well um, but this way I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it because I want to share it for me so that way I can focus on other stuff and I got Facebook ad that's running I gotta keep paying attention to keep an eye on so I want to make sure that that is working correctly let's go to my home page let's go to the, the, the home the news feed okay all right so I'm here at the news feed uh, my news well my timeline excuse me, my timeline so what I want to do is as always I want to get everything come back to my fan page okay I took a week off from promoting this week just from offline and I'm promoting so now I'm trying to try to set this up so that way it can do the, the week online promoting for me so that way it can keep, continue to focus on my offline. So, as you all know, this is the page right here. This is the page right here. Oh, cool. It worked. Okay, this is part of what I was, I was telling you guys about as far as the the automated post. But um, I'm going to come back to that because that's going to be that's gonna be awesome. Because I really guys want you, to, want you guys to see that. Um... Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm getting a little distracted. I've seen everything over here. So what you want to do is, like I said, you can find your post, okay? Now, I already know what this link is and all that stuff. So what I normally would do, no, actually, I'm sharing this already on Jay Nice's page, so I don't want to do this again. Instead, I want to share another video, okay? Nope, take that, take that back. Okay, I want to do this completely different now. So now you can do it one or two. You can do as well, like I said, you can post whatever you want to post on your your auto poster, but just make sure that it is eye catching, and that it's gonna draw people in to want to ask you for more information, and or make it so that they would want to click on the link if you include a link. So what I want to do because I've actually been promoting that video, that video. It already has well over 16,000 views, so I can actually go and promote something else. But instead of taking them to my fan page, I, I think I'm going to do it to my my YouTube channel. As you can see, my YouTube channel, here it is right here. Um, I have almost 500 subscribers. Once I get to 500 subscribers, I will definitely be giving something away. I don't know exactly what it will be as of yet, but you guys will get something from me because I really appreciate the love, the support. And just you guys just it's it's it's, it's crazy you know I, I you guys come on here and you guys are interacting with me and I really 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 appreciate it. so um with that being said let me go ahead and go to my videos because there's a video specifically that I want people to see which is gonna be this one right here okay and 
the way I'm going to do it, the way I have been doing it, I've been setting my videos to automatically, well, at first it was set to automatically be shared on my, um, on my blog. I had to wait for a minute because I was trying to Let's rearrange it. Like um, Ty Lopez, the dude, the man. Um, because I try to try to rearrange it a little bit so I can get more more views and this type of stuff. So my page can look a lot more professional and look more organized. So, um, okay, cool. So what I did was I add I add all my videos for the most part, especially the videos that got the, the custom thumbnails. I add those into my blog. Okay, now here's my blog right here, which is going to be the join. I don't know if you guys remember seeing this before. Join totalsecurity.com. Back. Okay. Alright, because like, sometimes I gotta check that to make sure it's working. Alright, so this is my blog. So this is what I'm gonna share a link from my blog. Okay, because I can you can make money from all this, okay? You make a YouTube videos, you make money from that. If you make enough of them, you make a, some good amount of money from it. Now, as also you also wanna make sure that you have a blog. You can definitely make some more money from that as well. So you guys really want to make sure that you are are using as many of these free tools as possible. That way, we can make you some extra money. Okay. So now this is the video and the post that I want to share. Because what's going to happen is, once I share it, you will click on it. Once I share, it, people click on it. My I get more hits or views, right? So with this one, I'm actually going to include the whole link. Let's see, it's right here. Include the whole link. I'm going to put that. Remember, it's going to be a link thing. And I'm going to show you and make sure that you guys don't get your post. I mean, don't get your page. Um, don't get your page blocked. Okay, so this one, I didn't put that much information on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create something, all right? So, I think I had a, 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 a post I have put up here on one of my pages. Which one is that? I think it was my Jessica Morales page. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> you know, everything that you do, especially if it's online, you really want to be, you really want to think about it before you do it. Because it can determine on you wasting your time or you actually want some results. And I don't know about you, but I want to see results. So that's why you might see I'm, I'll be like trying to sit here and trying to think about it, trying to figure out, hmm, you know, what exactly am I going to there because it that matters like that completely matters the automation part is easy because all you gotta do is just put the information in and it just does it for you but the part that matters is the fact that you really want to make sure that whatever you're putting out there people actually are like oh cool I want to learn about that or I want to get some more information about that that's all that's what's gonna bring people to you and if you can't do that then you sharing 10,000 different posts that's not gonna get you anywhere because you might just have something that's just so blase, bland, and then they'd be like, whoa, you know, like, that's not, I, I'm not with that. The next thing you know, you know, you, you missed that. That's money missed. That's money missed. I don't even know if I even put this on here. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it is right here. Okay, well, I could use this. Um, it's, I, I still did not make, make that much of a big old um, thing on here. But, so, in that case, it's fine. So, what we'll do is we'll still write our message, okay? So, instead of it saying, watch this, made it easy, $160, posting ads online, you can, you can do it too. Um, I can leave it as watch this, because that way, they'll actually know they have to click the link. Um, and I actually do want to include a picture with this. Yeah. It's going to be a link, but I want the picture to be included in it. So, what I'll do, because if you have a picture already included with it, it's just, it's just okay, it's just perfect. What I will do is, because I have a link. I have my own web posting, but if you have, um... If you have, if you don't have a web hosting, 
then you can use one of these. You can just type in upload image online and just use one of these right here, and it'll give you a link. Now with mines, I actually have my own, but I'll do this just for the sake of the video. These are pretty simple and really easy, and of course, as always, free. So, I will do. So I gotta find. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find what picture am I looking for? Find videos. Where is it? Right here. Okay. MCA Payday Proof One Thumb Three. I, you see, I, I'm always working. I'm always working. So, see, I can drag it here. So let me go ahead and drag it. Just want to upload. All right. Now you got the, the image. Okay. Why does it look like that? Oh, okay. That's fine. So I just use the viewer link. This link right here. Let's see how it looks now. Make sure it comes out like it's supposed to. Okay, perfect. So, and then I come here and I put my picture URL. All right. Now keep in mind, you can do the same thing for the image part as well, the image portion. Um, I usually leave this by itself, leave it alone, because I just really want the link, the message, and the picture to be up here. And once I get that done, then I'm good to go. So I'll leave making e made an easy hundred sixty dollars posting ads online. You can do it too. Watch this, um, and then I can put. Comment for more. Comment interested for more info. Right. <clears throat> so what I would so now what's going to happen is this is already set. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure that I set them to all to the groups that I want them to be in. Okay, which is going to be all of these right over here. All right. Um, it's going to be all of them saying make work from home, make money, make, make, make Work from home, make money online, promote yourself, advertise, M M L M L M, make money fast, be your own boss, entrepreneurs, business opportunities, all those groups. Okay, and what I'm gonna do because um, I actually already have this saved. What what you can do, okay, if you if, if you are making a post and you want to use the same groups for another post, I'm gonna um come back and I'm actually gonna repopulate this again. Because I already have these selected in another post, but you would just come through here and just click, 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 right, and you just keep clicking, and then those are groups. Those are the groups that's gonna be added. Then once you do that, you come up here and then you hit save. Now it's gonna show up. Once it shows up, because I'm not gonna save this, but once you click save, it's gonna tell you to put your your the name of it that you wanna save, and then you hit save, and that's pretty much it on that part. So what I'm gonna do because I I need to get this back, and my image is still here. Okay, perfect. So, I need to go ahead and upload. I'm going to delete all this. And I am going to, let me see. I'm going to use this one because I probably got the most work from home ads. I mean groups. And then what I'll do, because, okay, so once you do that, it'll it'll populate from that ad, okay? And now, if I scroll down, you'll see the groups that have already been selected. These are, these are the groups that I've had selected. And, of course, there's some that I, the new groups that I have been in, that I haven't even selected yet. So I can actually go through and click them too as well if I want to. Of course you can also add groups. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Now I probably won't go through and do all these because it's gonna be so many of them. Um but when I take the time and when you take the time to do this, it'll it'll help you a lot because you really want to make sure that you're sending it out to the right groups. Like all I got all these pages, these like pages groups and I, I can't send them out to them because it's not going to do me any good. So I want to make sure that's how, that I'm sending out to the work from home groups, the social media marketing groups, the network promoting groups, all those. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this for now because this is, just, like I said, for the purpose of the video. Now, I'm going to come back here. Like I said, once you hit the link, it, it deleted your information that was in here because you're not using the image anymore. See? But then if you go back down, all the, link, all the, ad, um, the groups are still selected. So don't worry about that being um, done. So then I went ahead and put my information back in here. Where's the, where's the blog post right here? Because I want this. But the reason why I'm even sharing this is because I want more hits to my website. This is my website right here. 
Okay, this is on my MCA website where I, I have my blog, and people can come and check out the, the, the information that I have, all the services that MCA has to offer, and you can also watch my videos because I have them, again, on my blog. And you can also click on my, my fan page, check out my tweets. You guys, I'm, I'm always working, people. Like, I'm always doing something. And you want to, there you go. You can check out all this stuff, okay? So, what does that say at the bottom? Oh, okay. Well, why is that up there? Anyway, I'll work over about that later. So, with that, so now that I got that link, I'm going to make sure I selected the link. Then I come here and I add the link here. Now, same thing with the picture. Come here, copy, paste here. So now, this part right here is going to be also important. It's not that essential, um, but it does help you with the delay. Now, what I like to do, of course, you select your time zone. Um, sometimes it doesn't really matter. No, I take that back because it does matter on your time zone. Because if you have it set to Africa, it's going to only post it on those types. So, then what I would do is I would either select the date if you want to do that. I'm going to leave it, start posting them today. So I'm going to leave mine the way it is, but you can select the date and you select the time that you want it to be posted. Um, I'm going to clear mine out. Um, and then select the delay. Well, I like to say, you can do it at 360, but don't. I'm going to go ahead and tell you the one that's been working for me because I did it at 360 as well. Um, except for the fact that uh, if you're doing it to post these um, not via cron, like not to be posted later or um, not to be posted outside of the browser. Like if you're posting only outside of the browser as far as the, um, in, on your user CP goes, I'm going to show you that right quick. I'm just going to right click that open another tab. If you go to your user CP control panel, you'll see right here. Okay, make sure the delay handling, if you're going to use this part right here, this is really only for the browser selection. That's for the select delay because you already got the delay down here as far as if you're doing it for the ser um, by server. So if you're doing it by the server, it's going to be posted by cron. So meaning that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be by a cron job where it's going to just be posted later. Um, and then you can check them out back here or check them out in your activity log on your Facebook page. Some of them, if, your groups are, if you have some groups that you're in that are closed or private, they might not get posted in there. So you want to make sure that you go back and check out those groups and then go ahead and then post it in that group if you want to. Um, and if not, I would just go ahead and let it run and just post it in all the open groups, then come back and then I'll just make some other posts myself. But usually the open groups, if you're in a good amount of them, they'll help you out a lot anyway. Um, because closed groups, private groups, there's way too many speculations, way too many stipulations. They have way too much going on. and Too many people trying to basically, t you know, telling you, oh, you can't post this, post that. I, I, and personally, I don't care for that um, unless it's a specific group. But if you're an advertised promote group, you should not be closed or secret, but it's whatever. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Okay, so that's your seat. That's, that's going to be in the user part, all right? Um, we're going to come back to this, but I want you to see, once, like I said, I usually put it at 800, which is okay. And then from there, I just hit post. Uh, I'm not going to save this because I, already, I need to actually go through and add some more groups. And I'm going to make another video on how to add groups. And then from there, what I'll do... Is I hit post. I make sure I'm making sure I put everything in here that I needed to put in here. All right, and I'm gonna hit post. Then it's gonna tell me black nerds, and then it's gonna tell me all of the how many how many groups that I can post in. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit post now. Well, wait a minute. Am I crons? Do I still have crons running? Okay, perfect. Okay, no crons running. That is kind of helps me out too because it also lets you know that um you have you're not mixing posts. And then you're not going to also make it to where your Facebook is going to block your page because or um, restrict you from posting the groups because you're posting too fast. So you want to make sure this is clear before you make another post. Um, I usually do it about once a week. I let it run a week, and then I come back and I make another one. And I hit post. All right. So now it's going to show up right here. It's going to show you all the, all the groups that have been posted in. These are the work-from-home groups. And then, of course, you can go to your microns. I see other ones that all the groups that have been posted in. I keep in mind these can definitely change. Uh, I might say that it's gonna post like this, but then it can also be posted at different times depending on whatever type of group it is. If they're waiting for admin approval, that can also determine on when it's gonna be posted. Uh, depending on your settings and the user CP. Let me go ahead and go to that now. 
and it can determine on how when it's going to be posted as well. So what I would say, if you want to check it, don't necessarily go by the microns. Just go by your activity log. That way you can count to see how many posts you have. And if you have posts that's been done in the, in the same time, like you have more than five, then I will come back here and I will change that. Um, you can change it to where you can make it. Well, this one I have is set to five posts every time it runs, which I think is pretty good. And it pauses for two hours before it runs again. Now, I ended up changing my the server delay. So the delay, now every time the cron runs, it's going to be every hour. So make sure that if you are using the server, that you are only leaving this at no more than five. You can do ten, but it's going to be risky, especially if you're in a lot of groups, because you will be posting your, your page will be posting ten different times per hour. And of course, it also depends again on how many groups that you are actually cleared to post in, and blah blah blah, that type of stuff. Um, if some I have some people ask me, um, you can do more. I I don't agree with that, only because I don't like being blocked from Facebook. So um, I like to take my time, make sure that I'm learning everything the right way, so that way I can keep working. Because if I if I if I if I'm blocked for a week, I can't work. Then I gotta figure out other ways to work. You know what I'm saying? So I want to make sure that all of my options of working is actually still active. So I always say this is gonna be your best bet: five to ten posts, no more than ten posts. And if you do 10 posts, make sure that it's over 120 minutes as far as the auto pause duration. And this part would actually, that will help you out. You usually leave the API version override alone. Um, I wouldn't mess with that. I just I usually just leave it. Um, and I just wait to see when the posts get posted. Okay. And then, I think that's pretty much it on that. Because you got the image. And how to upload your image, and it's gonna be on my page now. It also, of course, upload um, later, and I will just come here and click my activity log. Well, I'll give it like a couple of hours, and I'll come check to see when it's been when it's been posted. And then if you haven't seen any post, then I, I can make a couple of posts myself. But I like to check them, give them at least at least two hours, and then you can come back and check. And if if you don't see any post that's been made, then go ahead and make some posts yourself. Before the next hour starts, because then you never know that could be the it could be the hour you're gonna have all your not all the groups that you're accepted into posting automatically gets showed up, and you don't want to be blocked again for posting too fast. Um, so it's all about just using is using your discretion and being smart about how you post and what you post and where to post that, and then you'll start seeing some results coming in. Um, mm, I'll give you guys an update on that as well, because I also want you to see. Or you can actually just come to my blog. Check out my blog. Join mcatotalsecurity.com backslash blog. I'll add that in the description below. And just you guys just go ahead and um, just check out the rest of my videos. Check out all the blogs that I have. Um, just ask me any questions that you might have as well. Okay? So make sure that you like, the, like this video, comment under it, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And again, I got something coming for y'all once I get 500 subscribers. Then we're going to get to 1,000 subscribers, and it's going to keep going up from there because I love doing this, people. Like, I love doing this. Give me something to talk about, and I'll talk about it, and I'll make a video for it. So until then, until the next video, I'll be working, come out with some more stuff for you guys, and show, just make sure that you are continuously you know, show support, whether it's not just to me but to other people. Because you want to be successful, make sure that you are showing support so that way you can also get it in return, all right? Let's not be selfish, people. We all it's plenty of money and success out there to go around. So, again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.